Hey everybody, I'm getting ready to make a uh, Oreo pudding by request for a family member. This will be the quickest and easiest dessert you can make that your kids are going to love. So first I'm going to start off with one pack of cream cheese. And this is eight ounces. So I'm going to put the whole pack in there. I did let it sit out a little bit so it can soften. Put that in the bowl. And use the whole stick. To the cream cheese, I'm going to add one can of sweetened condensed milk, and this is a 14 ounce can, and I'm going to use the whole can. have to measure anything out. Just use the whole container. So I'm going to take my hand mixer and blend those two up together. Mix that for about two minutes until it was smooth. We let your cream cheese sit out and get soft, then it blends better. See, just like that, y'all. Smooth and creamy. I'm gonna set this to the side, then in another bowl. I'm going to add one pack of French vanilla instant pudding. Sometimes for this recipe, I use the Hershey's white chocolate pudding. 
they didn't have any in the store, so I'm using French vanilla today. Then I'm going to take one can of evaporated milk. Make sure you shake it up really good before you open it. If you don't have evaporated milk, this is a, a 12 ounce can. If you don't have evaporated milk, you can use whole milk. Just use two cups, mix it uh, with the same measurements that you use. That's on the pudding box. I use a whole can because this is exactly two cups of milk. Open this up. And you're going to pour the whole can of milk in. And we're going to blend this up for a few minutes. So it starts thickening up a bit. Make sure you get all the lumps out. I can't believe this snow again, y'all. I thought the snow was over with. Let's go get some sprinkles. spatula and scrape the bowl because sometimes some of it stick on the side of the bowl and I want to make sure it's all mixed in. And so you can already see the instant pudding is already starting to thicken up. minutes to whip that up and give it one last scrape. Okay, I'm gonna set this bowl to the side and then I'm gonna go back to my other bowl. And to this bowl that I had the cream cheese and evaporated milk in and the sweetened condensed milk and I'm gonna use one whole container of whipped topping and this is eight ounces and take that put the whole container this is the easiest measurements y'all just use the whole container of everything Easy recipe to remember. So once I get all of that in there, mix it up. Up. I'm going to scrape my bowl. 
Make sure I get all of that off the sides. It's all mixed in. And then I'm going to come back to my big bowl that I had my instant pudding in. And I'm going to add it all together. So you do need a nice size bowl when you're mixing all this together so all the filling will fit. Don't leave none behind, y'all. <laughs> this would be the part where if y'all have kids, y'all can let them lick the spoon. <laughs> You know, used to you do that all the time when I was younger. My mama and my granny make cakes. And then you get to lick the spoon in the bowl. Seems like the batter tastes better when you <laughs> eat it off the spoon. Then you eat them beetles. Now is where I'm going to take some of my Oreos. Crush them up in here. Some of them I crush up in there and then some I line them up in the bowl. So I'll put maybe about almost a row of cookies in there. But you can add the whole roll if you want to. And then I'm going to run everything back all over the cookie pan. Straight my bowl again. Make sure I get everything off from around the sides. Make sure I scrape the bottom. Make sure it's all mixed in in the bottom of the bowl. You don't need nothing not mixed in. Oh, it smells good too, y'all. Smell real good. And it look just like that. Don't it already look like cookies and cream? <laughs> now we're going to layer it in the pan. Take my aluminum pan. I'm gonna take my Oreo cookies. I'm gonna layer some in the bottom, and I'm gonna layer them cream side up.
once I layer them in the bottom, I'm going to take that mixture and then I'm going to pour it over the top. Let me get my camera right now. Let me get my camera right now. Okay. So you can see. Take my mixture. I'm going to pour some in. Some more cookies in, in the middle. That's my second layer. I'm going to pour the rest of the mixture in. And as you can see, this this uh, recipe was enough to fill this whole pan. So it does make a lot. Let's scrape it all of it out the bowl. We can leave none of it down. Spread it out. I usually let it sit sometimes in the refrigerator for about an hour to let it sit up some more. But if you want to dig right into it, you can I'm going to take those last row cookies and put them across the top. Stick some down the side. Look, y'all, I got an extra cookie. I guess I get to eat that one. <laughs> and that's it, y'all. Quick, a quick, easy, and simple Oreo pudding that your family is sure to enjoy. I hope you give this recipe a try. I well, thank you for tuning in again to another episode of Cooking, Creating, and Conversation. Be blessed. Bye, y'all.